So, you think you're a hot stuff, Hekapoo? No, oh, I don't think. I know I'm hot stuff. Prove it, Hekapoo. <sighs> ah, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Somebody put me up. Put me up. I'm on fire. I told you I was hot. This doesn't count. Well, I think that's a matter of opinion. So, first time, huh? Don't worry. It gets easier. After the third time, you don't feel it anymore. Oh, my stomach feels like it's in a boxing ring. Oh. Damn it, Papyrus! What do you put in that dish in the first place? Oh, uh, let me think here. I use spaghetti, I use tomato sauce, three cans, along with tomato paste, basil, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of sugar to sweeten it, and my secret ingredient, glitter glue. Who puts glitter glue in pasta? I put glitter glue in all my dishes. Who is that obsessed with glitter glue? I feel like I'm being insulted. Here we go, Tom, all done. And just like that, my hatred has switched from Isabel to you, Tom. Hello everyone, it's me Gardabelle, and today I will be googling myself. No way Gardabelle, don't you all want to do that, trust me. It's a big mistake, you're going what happened to come. And it needs to die, 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 and it needs to die. Wow Sticks, don't you think you should have took her out to counseling? But right after the counseling, she was a lot worse before. Okay, fair enough, but I'm still going to do it. Fun hell, it's your way Gardabelle. I'm going to get out of here and save myself from a backlash and do something else. I won't wake out with human heads or something. I'm not going to stay here and watch you traumatize yourself. Well, let's get started, Gar, the Bell and Search. Sorry, Google failed to find items that mask the name Garda Bell. Try again. Why? Why, you get a free pass. Because I'm new and not a lot of people know about me. You can do it while you have it. That's not going to last long. Well, wow, Fox McCloud, I never realized how big-headed you were. And what do you mean by that, Edge? Well, uh, 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 uh. Wow, the gravity must be really heavy on this planet. Seriously, who wrote this script? Oh, what is this monstrosity? Isabel, what are you up to this time? Edge, I'm glad you're here. I think I finally found a way of solving your costume problem. I borrowed it from Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. He calls it the Gender Bender Morphinator. It should change you back into a male undoing the little problem I put you in. Considering your last plan has us going to Tom Nook who ended up scamming us and forcing us to kiss a whole bunch of random dudes, and half of them didn't even brush their teeth, so you can see how I'm a little skeptic on your plan. I'm trying to help Edge, please, just trust me. Considering I don't want anybody else to know about this I mean it's already bad enough that Tom Nook knows and he exploited it I don't want anybody else to know so I really don't have a choice in the matter do I? Thank you Edge I promise. I will make this right. Hum, Isabel, are you sure this is safe? Well yeah, I mean pretty sure. Kynes ensured me you wouldn't die from it at least. That's not too reassuring, it's Isabel. Well, I might be a hedgehog now, but at least the boys are back in town. And are you okay down there? Isabel, what have you done to me this time? What the hell? Sophie, what are you doing in that outfit? Where's Torio? Torio not going to be making it to this shot. She quit. What? Why did Torio quit? What went wrong? Well, the last time I saw Torel. Okay, Torio, according to the schedule today, you will be doing another Undertale parody with Edge. Oh, hell no, I am not doing that. That's wrong, Toria. You always been up to our good parody with Edge. I can't take it anymore. They never were the shipping me with a human. I don't care if the same human. I've had a time out of here. I'm going on vacation. You take my role, you're shapeshifter, right? Just shapeshifting to I'm going on vacation. Don't know when I'll be back. And that pretty much leads us up to 
this point. Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be in a relationship with Fox Bat Edge? You're not. Almost certainly not. You're still to double cherry to clone myself. Wow. What a woman. I think I'm gonna enjoy this relationship. New girlfriend? Yep. Goes crazy with the kissing? Yep. At least I'm not the only one. What's her name? Sophie, the red panda. Oh, that two timing bitch. Wait, you don't understand. Ah, oh, crap. He believes your counterpart is cheating on him. We better go and clear the air. But, but, Edge, I didn't. Don't but I, me, Sophie. You've been going around flirting with other guys. I literally got heard it from that other person and... <clears throat> Not now. Can't you see him? What the hell? There's two of you? He used to double Sherry to clone myself, Edge. What are you talking about? I'm the one who used to double cherry. You're my clone. No, you're the clone. I'm the original. No, I'm the original. Oh, you want to fight me? You know the clone can't beat the original. Yeah, because you're the clone. Man, this is better than Cable. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is the worst jump scare I've ever seen. <laughs> I think you should try something different. Oh. Okay, Monty. How about this then? If you ever, ever flirt with my girl again, Monty, I will personally rip out your nuts and bolts and turn you into a female animatronic. This is your only warning. Edge, what have you done? You literally just admitted that you and I are in a relationship. In front of all these people, I thought we was to keep it a secret. Um, Circus Baby, why the heck am I here? A simple edge, me and my sister need to go on vacation and we need a standing to take on our job. Okay, but why do I have to be a uh, stand-in, Circus Baby? Well, because you never answered our emails from corporate to giving me a glam rock body. Oh, you mean the same company? Who said I stole one of the animatronics, but in reality I actually saved it from the dumpster? Wait, so is that how we got Glam Rock mangled? I thought she was a brand new animatronic. I didn't know she was a repurposed one. No, Circus Bluey. I'm the one who saved her. In fact, I put so much work and effort and money into her, she's more my animatronic than anyone else's. Well, considering what they put you through, I wouldn't be surprised if you hate the company. I hope that doesn't mean you hate us as well. It's a 50-50 circus, baby. I love the animatronics, but I hate the company. Anyway, I you get to work filling your role. Enjoy your vacation. See you two when you get back from your vacation. Voice synthesizer? Wouldn't be much of a standing without one bit waiting to the mask. What's wrong Mangled is seem a little distressed. Hey Sapphire, my boyfriend just laid on me a lot of information at once, and I'm just trying to process it all. Well maybe I can help Mangled, what did your boyfriend say exactly? He said he made it so I can have babies so technically I'm more than android than an animatronic. So technically that makes you the android 18 of FNAF, right? Well, when you say it like that being compared to the hottest android in Dragon Ball Z, I should take that as a compliment. Thanks, Sapphire. He made me feel better. But I kind of wonder, Sapphire, you're a police officer, right? What you doing as a security guard? Well, since I arrested Vanity slash Vanessa for attempted murder the pizza place without a security guard, so they asked me to fill in until they can find a replacement, but I can still arrest someone if I catch them trespassing a security guard can't do that, and I kind of like it here, it's a lot peaceful than actual police work. The only downside is I can't carry a gun, but considering little kids so known to come here, that's pretty much makes sense, can you imagine? if somebody got a hold of my gun he can end up shooting up the damn place that's why they gave me a taser instead.
By the way, Sapphire, how's your twin sister doing? What was the name, Ruby? What's she doing? She's doing my police work where I am here watching the pizza place. She also has part-time as a secret agent with her skills again in and out of places without being detected. She's a natural with that. Well, thanks for the conversation, Sapphire. I'm going to go find Edge and tell him what how I feel. Wait isn't that the person who rebuilt you he's your boyfriend but he's a human isn't he? You know what they say love has no boundaries. I can't, I can't argue, argue with, with that, that. That's, that's a really, really good, good point. Glam point. Rock Man May. Hey what's wrong with this toilet? Why won't his flush already? It's starting to stink in here. Ho ho ho. Hello Moon you'll never guess I got something you said I never find. A clue? Ha ha, no a Pokemon. What? Moon, may I introduce the new member of the daycare attendants, Lorandis the Pokemon. Son, where the hell did you find a Pokemon in the first place? Simple Moon, I went into the back of the pizza flax and into the tall grass like any Pokemon trainer would to catch the Pokemon. Son, you're not a Pokemon trainer and where are we going to do with a Pokemon in the first place where daycare not a Pokemon center? I figured she would help us entertain children. Children love Pokemon. She's my Pokemon friend. No, she's my Pokemon friend. 